In this video, we will show you how to enable WordPress multi-site feature. First of all, open up your WordPress directory, which contains all of your WordPress files and folders. Within that directory, look for wp-config.php file and open it. Since it is a configuration file, it can be opened in Notepad. In this file, scroll down and place a define method right above where it's written, that's all, stop editing, happy blogging. This method will enable the multi-site network setup item in the menu. Once you're done, save the file before closing it. Now go to your WordPress dashboard and refresh the page. Since we have made some alterations in the configuration file, we will be required to re-log in. After logging into the dashboard, go to the Tools tab and click on the Network Setup option available. This option is now appearing because of the define method we inserted in the wp-config file earlier. As a result, the Network Setup page will open. Over here, there are blocks of code present. First block has to be inserted in the wp-config file, while the second has to be inserted in the .htaccess file. We will copy the first piece of code and then open up your wp-config file. Over there, look up for the previous method which we inserted earlier and place these lines of code such that they overwrite the defined method inserted previously. Once you're done, save the file and close it. Now copy the second block of code from the network setup page and open the .htaccess file. It is present in the same WordPress directory where wp-config file resides. Place the code such that it overwrites the lines written between the tags of if module. Once you're done, save the file and then close it. Now go back to the network setup page and click on the login option available right below the second block of code. Log in the dashboard after entering your credentials again. You will now observe two sites present in the admin bar. This means that the multi-site feature has been successfully configured. 